Tell us the story of the strippers who were ovulating versus those that weren't. This is like why you go into science, folks. Like, <laughs> it's, it's like to be able to talk about things like this and not have people give you a dirty look and instead like ask for the citation. Researchers were just really interested in learning more about the role of hormones, women's sex hormones, on mate attraction. And they were really particularly interested in whether estrogen, when it's rising across the cycle, specifically because it's related to the time in the cycle when sex can lead to conception, like might men find women particularly desirable during this time? The way that they decided to study this was to follow a bunch of strippers in a strip club to see how much money they were earning, depending on where they were in the cycle and whether or not they were using hormonal birth control or not. They followed the women for for two cycles and they had them track how many hours they worked and they had them track how much tip money they made. What they found was that for the naturally cycling women, they earned significantly higher tip earnings when fertility is high in the cycle. So when estrogen is high and then it would start to decrease a little bit. And that for women, women who are using hormonal birth control, it was lower and flatter across the cycle. And it suggests that men are picking up on this. And, and again, not in a way where a man is like, wow, I bet, you know, I bet she's ovulating. Like I bet but she's fertile. They don't even know they're doing no. that. No, they but don't. They're just like, like wow. In the chemistry yeah. in the air. Yeah, but they're just like, wow, like she is really sexy. And it's just something about her, right, that makes them want to open their heart and their wallet, right, to 